what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna be discussing about the previous video the one about stats as there were a few comments saying that the information i gave in that video was incorrect how i need to take the video down and uh, a lot of debates regarding what i said in that video so i wanted to make this video to further discuss the subject, to clarify how I got to that information, what my opinion is, and more importantly also to share other people's opinions about the same subject as I am only human and I might be wrong, they might be correct. So just to share everything out to my viewers. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the conversations were mainly regarding my a resistance tactical might and tactical resistance as i did state in my video that might and resistance apply only to basic attack damage where tactical might and resistance apply to skill damage and that was debated as wrong because uh, others did multiple tests regarding this saying that might and resistance do apply also to skill damage and not just to uh, basic attack damage and the same goes for tactical might so before we get into this uh, subject let's clarify a thing I said it before and I do want to repeat myself here when I make my videos I put a lot of effort in how I do it that's why you don't see 20 videos per week coming from my channel is because I do take a lot of consideration when I uh, think of the information I'm gonna be given that means getting in contact with other players to uh, also hear other opinions about the same subject to better prepare of giving you guys the best information I can do but with that said I am still just a player I'm not a developer I don't have any direct contacts with rise of empires so my opinions are still just my opinions about the game they can also be wrong that's why I don't have a problem when people correct me or people want to debate that uh, my information was wrong or not but I still want to protect my own opinion about what I think in the game and I think the best thing to do is uh, explain a bit how I got to the conclusions that I stated in those videos the tests I made were done I think a year ago pretty much at the beginning of this channel I had a plan of making a rise of empires app where you can just add different heroes to a legion and it would give you a potential damage output and so on and for all those things that i wanted to implement in that app the most important factor was to figure out how stats work in rise of empires because without knowing how the stats work you wouldn't know how it affects skills from the heroes so you kind of have no clear idea of which one is better or because you didn't know how they work in to begin with so the way i did my test was i uh, made my legion with 10,000 tier 1 troops on all three rows and the enemy legion from my farm that i was attacking the same story 10,000 troops on each row with tier 1 troops now some of you may think what's the point of making a test with no heroes to figure out how stats affect heroes the reason why i made the test this way is because firstly i wanted to figure out how stats work period like uh, besides heroes or anything just how stats work how they are affected how extra might influences how extra resistance influences the stats and so on so not having the heroes with their skills with their percentage of chance with their increases would uh, make my calculations much uh, smoother and much more exact than if i would involve the heroes that's why i did it only with troops and i've chose 10,000 troops on each row just to make the calculations much easier i've chose tier one because it's lower numbers to not have to calculate big numbers overall and the thing that I figured out from doing multiple tests like this was not what the value of its stat is but actually the fact that the damage was varied 
every single time i was attacking obviously i was refilling with 10,000 troops every single time on both sides every single time i was attacking i was getting a different number from basic attacks because i only had troops so there was no skill damage to talk about so even though i didn't have any heroes in both legions to uh, give me a different outcome every single fight or with every single basic attack I was still getting different numbers every single time I was making the test. The difference wasn't gigantic, but it was still a difference, which shouldn't be there normally because troops don't have something that would vary your attacks. And that's when I kind of figured out that the Rise of Empires have a randomizer in their game. A randomizer meaning that you have a certain output of damage and then that damage is randomized in between let's say 80 percent and 120 and then you will never get 100 percent same damage every single time but you will always get something in between that 80 and 120. this is just as an example to uh, understand randomizing and if that randomizer applied uh, such a difference in the damage without full troops without any heroes without their skills without the extra stats then i kind of figure that if you do add the heroes if we are talking about different skills and multipliers of damage and so on then the same difference that i've noticed by using 10,000 troops of tier one would be substantially much bigger when we're discussing about full-on tier nine or tier 10 troops with uh, top hero legions and that's kind of where I gave up and I gave up on the concept of trying to figure out how everything works because it made no sense even if you do a million tests because of that randomizer you will always get different results and yes after a million tests you will get to a certain general conclusion of what the result is but it will still be irrelevant because you want to apply this to one single battle. You want to figure out what if I use this combo against this combo, will I get this result? And the answer is you don't know because of that randomizer. Even if that legion supposedly should be better because of that randomizer and damage, because of the uh, chance of casting skills from the heroes that can sometimes even be to the point where you don't get the damn skills at all you end up losing with this legion just because of the chance of happening so when it comes to might and resistance or tactical might and resistance applying to skill damage uh what i understood is specifically uh, like if if you did test and you seen some variation in your skill damage after you added some might bonuses then personally i just blame it on that randomizer the same way i've discovered from basic easy troops uh, how the damage was variating if you add also heroes and all that then the damage would vary it even more so just a little variation it's not gonna impress me when you say that might influences skill damage especially if we are discussing b screen rose immortal because this is one of the big questions here uh, the way you want to find out how to increase the damage of that combo to further push poison tiles to better push poison tiles and they uh, I've been told that might does influence the skill damage that immortal does if you're looking at the second skill from immortal it clearly says it's an attack just because it's a skill doesn't mean it deals skill damage it deals skill damage when it says damage and just that but when it clearly says an attack of 380 percent then it's just 380 percent of what a normal basic attack would be but it deals it as a boost up basic attack so might does increase the second skill of immortal because that doesn't deal skill damage but that doesn't mean 
might increase the skill damage overall. So at least this is my opinion on the matter regarding the debate on might resistance and tactical might and resistance. If anybody has done test or found a certain situation that clearly shows that I'm wrong, uh, that clearly shows a big difference, a big enough difference to say, for example, if you add 40 extra percent might, you clearly see that the skill damage is much bigger and you can see the same difference also in the basic attacks because 40% increase might would still increase the basic attack damage a lot and you should see the same difference also in the skill damage dealt by the heroes but if that's not the case then this is the reason why I don't believe that might influences skill damage or tactical might influences basic attack damage because of that randomizer that I found in the game. Like a little difference in the output damage is not going to give you a viable reason to say that it actually influenced it. So again, if you have different opinions and if you have different a uh, test that you give and would contradict what I just said now, please leave them in the comment. We can discuss that. The point of this channel is to give information to the viewers. Whether it's my information, where it's Don Pablone's information or one of my viewers, I don't mind. I'm just here to present it, not to be as smart as about it. And I will always have my own opinions about it the same way other players do. And of course, I'm going to present them because, well, you know, it's my channel. So don't be afraid to share your opinions in the comment section. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next ones.